and then I can go down to key go Monix, so the question we really set out to answer was uh, what does uh, consumer need uh, from a gaming graphics chart? And what they really need is a graphics card that is not too powerful, not crazy, because that's the most important thing. Yeah, and 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 that's the most It's called the HD5670 that we're launching next week on January 14th. Uh, the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the things that we focused on were exactly those points. So the 5670 is a very sleek graphics card. It's uh, small. It's, uh, it consumes about uh, 61 watts of uh, typical power in a typical gaming scenario. Uh, it has uh, the latest technology, DX11. Uh, that's the technology that uh, all the Uh, game developers are using to uh, build their uh, uh, games in the in the coming future. So you need that if you want to be able to play the latest and the greatest games. It also has an uh, ATI stream technology, which makes the PC go faster. You're able to use the graphics processing unit for stuff that was typically done uh, in a slower fashion with a CPU. And uh, uh, it also offers the Ifinity technology that we're going to see in a minute, which is a multi-monitor technology that can support us. Three monitors with the uh, uh, HD 5670s. So uh, the product is going to launch for about $99. This is uh, very exciting for us. It's also the first time we're bringing uh, a product like this with GDDR5 technology to the market, and um, uh, the, the product also it uses 512 meg or one gig of uh, memory on it. So as you can see from 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 this chassis here, uh, this one is set up with the HD 5670 on the motherboard, and uh, there is no need for any connection of external power supplies to it. Just because the card consumes only 61 watts, uh, the upgrade scenario for for a gamer is quite convenient and uh, user friendly, so to speak. They just install it onto the PCI Express graphics card, and it just works. Thank you.